If you have to give a demo and you have inpatient clients or prospects, this is for you. So on my YouTube channel, I got this great question. I'm going to read it right now. Uh, the person's name is King Harry. That's his handle on sales uh, YouTube. Now, it says, good video Victor, referencing one of my videos. He says, what do you say to an inbound client that wants to skip your questions and go straight to your demo during a meeting? In other words, screw discovery. Let's get to it, Victor. I have questions, right? The client says, uh, the type of person that hates, I'm reading this, I quote, that hates salespeople and just wants to get straight to the point, uh, and, and he referenced that he's selling software. So this is a software uh, situation. So someone calls you up, if I could rephrase what King Henry Herring is saying, someone calls you up and says, hey, uh, I need to know more about your software, uh, and they don't even want you to ask them questions. Let's just get to the software. And again, I believe you should always lean in the direction of the objection. And the objection is, I don't want to do discovery, just jump right into it. I don't have a problem with this, actually. I don't think we should always do discovery before we actually show people the actual software. Sometimes people just want to get to it right away. But there is a way of guiding the conversation slash the discovery slash demo in a very clever way. So for example, if you were to call me and you just want to get straight into the software, this is what I wrote back. The questions I would use is, where, where would you like to start? Great question, like where would you like to start? What problem are you trying to solve so I can go to that part immediately? See, that's what people want. In some cases, in a demo, people want you to run to the answer real quick. And when they know that you can solve that problem, then they're more willing to listen to you. But if you guide them, if you ask them the right questions, they'll always open up. This is the trick. The trick is to run to that point where they want to see. They want to see that specific feature. So show it to them and then say, now, you can do that, but here's what else you can do. And even if I ask you, tell me what you want to see first, and they tell me what they want to see first. I said, let me show you how you can do that, but let me ask you one more question. What is happening with your current software that's prompted you to call me so that I know what to show you in this software? I am letting the client know, dude, I'm gonna do what you want me to do. I'm gonna show you what you want me to show you. Just tell me what's going on. That's your mindset. And if the customer can feel that from you, that you're really gonna just show them, then there it is. I'll give you an example. It's not software. It's like the pest control industry, one of my favorite industries to train with. What they've learned is the following. Here's their process. You call, let's say you got a roach problem in that corner right there of your room, right? So what they do, you call the roach company up, they show up, and the first thing they'll do is show me where the problem's at. And they'll, you'll walk them to that corner and say, that's where I got a roach problem. So you look at the problem, you analyze the problem, and after you've done your research in terms of analyzing what's going on, you then go back to the customer and says, look, I've looked at the problem that you have in the corner. What I want to do now is take one walk, quick walk around the house to make sure there are no other problems. Client typically says, okay, go ahead and do that. And sure enough, they go back, they do the research, they walk around and do the rest of the research, and then they come back to the client and says, okay, I found a couple of things, let me put some notes together and some pricing for you. When they get to the table and they start talking, the first thing they address is the roaches, the cockroaches in the corner. They don't talk about what else they found. They first say, look, you called me for this problem. Let's talk about this and how we can solve that. Then the client says, okay, I get it. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Closed, first sale, the first step. Then they say, they'll say something like this. Now, when I went around the house and I walked around, I found a couple of other things that you may want to consider taking care of while I'm here. But notice what's brilliant about that strategy. The customer called for a specific problem. They came and addressed the specific problem. In demos, it's, not, it's no different. The client is calling because they have a specific problem. They don't want to see all the bells and whistles. They want to know, can you solve that problem? And once they know that you can solve that problem, much like the pest control industry, they're willing to listen to you about solving other problems they may have. So again, the answer here is not to fight the customer, argue with the customer, says, no, let me just ask you a couple of questions first. Screw that, tell me what you wanna see, tell me what's going on, tell me what motivated the call, tell me what is driving you to want to look at our software, and I will go to that right away, and let's talk about it, and I'll show you other things that we can probably do to help you and your business. The customer goes, oh, he gets me. This Victor character, he gets me. So keep that in mind, man. Give them what they want, and then 
sell them more. That's how you do it. This is Victor Antonio with another sales influence moment. Always reminding you, sell a date hard when you do what the customer wants and you know how. Take care.